Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one. guys it's Goldie I just want to share with you guys some things that I learned about college that I didn't learn in college did that make sense or in other words college did not teach me this if you did learn all of this stuff in college let me know in the comments what school you went to okay so the first thing that college did not teach me was how to budget my personal finances. I wish there was a class where they got down to the nitty gritty of living expenses and taught us how to budget correctly. Why do you think so many people live paycheck to paycheck and why is debt in America the most normal and common thing and if you don't have any debt you're like the weirdest person ever. It's because school doesn't teach you how to save and invest your money for your future. It's like we don't believe in paying all cash for stuff anymore. Or using cash instead of credit cards and debit cards at that. But. Thanks to my boyfriend, he told me about this book. It's Dave Ramsey's Complete Guide to Money. And this is not like a promotional video. It's just honestly something that's totally helped me with my finances and how to save and how to invest and how to spend. I wish that was a required course and that book was a requirement in one of my college classes, but it wasn't. What are you gonna do? Okay, so the second thing college did not teach me was how to avoid debt. And may I add, massive debt. Did you know that the average American carries four credit cards in their wallet? And that one in 10 Americans have 10 or more active credit cards at a time? So this means the average credit card debt is over $16,000. Can you imagine the interest being accrued on that? America as a whole has surpassed the $1 trillion mark in credit card debt. What? And that's only if we talk about credit card debt. Let's talk about student loans. A lot of people that I personally know that went to college come out of school $30,000 plus in debt. Why? Because they took out loans. They're already in debt before they're even close to graduation. And education is a little bit overpriced in my opinion. I was blessed in my situation because when I was in high school, I got a really, really good academic scholarship that pretty much covered all four years of my tuition. So I only came out of school with like $9,000 in debt, which may seem like a lot, but in retrospect, it's really not. And I got really strict and I buckled down and I made payments and I paid off any outstanding student loan. I was like, this is gonna be nipped in the bud the first year. <laughs> but what they don't let you know in college is that you're not gonna graduate and just land this magnificent job that's going to be making you enough money for you to pay off that loan fast. Why do you think you have 10 years to pay off your student loan. So you have six months grace period from the day that you graduate. You don't have to make any payments. No interest is being accumulated. But they push and promote loans. If not, you, if you can't afford it, then that's just too bad. You just don't get to go to that school. Bye. Like, okay. <laughs> so the solution? There is no solution. Just kidding. So what I would recommend is if your dream is to go to college. I don't think there is any problem with starting at a junior college as starting at a community college. There's nothing wrong with that. If you want to and have to go to that four-year university, really consider your options. Is it going to put you fifty, sixty thousand dollars in debt, or would it be a smarter choice to do two years at a community college and then transfer over to a four-year? You know what? At the end of the day, an employer or anything, that piece of paper is going to be what matters. It doesn't matter if you started at a two-year or you, know, you did all four years. It really does not matter. Other thing is while you're in college, focus and make payments on your student loan if you take them. Don't waste money by taking out a brand new car that you can't afford or buying a flat screen TV for your room. You don't really need those things. Why don't you focus on the money that you make? Start putting it towards paying off your student loan because it's just gonna get bigger and bigger if you wait so if you just go ahead and start taking care of it you're gonna have way less student loan stress by the time you graduate and lastly work harder to get scholarships they're everywhere there's so much money the federal government allots for students there's money out there but you have to go get it it's not just gonna be given to you and with that being said they don't teach you what and how a credit score works works. Now we have Credit Karma, which is the most user-friendly way to check your credit score, but there's not like a class or a heads up on, hey, you really want to be careful with not maxing out your credit cards 
and not getting too many credit cards. How to achieve a high credit score. How does that affect your life? You need a good credit score to be able to buy a house or a car or anything big. What I can say about credit cards is you can have multiple credit cards, but just keep very low balances or pay them off immediately like that same month. Don't wait for it to be maxed out and then not be able to pay. Another thing they did not teach me in college is what are the different type of benefits you will be offered when you get to, to corporate America, aka the real world. PPO, you have HMO, you have EPO, like what are these crazy acronyms? Did you guys know you can be on your parents' benefit plan, like healthcare benefit plan, until you're 26? I'm 25, so thanks mom and dad. The next thing I did not learn in college was how to file my own taxes. If I do recall, I took financial accounting, managerial accounting, cost accounting, like accounting. I don't remember ever talking about taxes. That would have been a great life skill. There was never a lesson in college that covered how to deal with poor management. Kevin, ooh! <laughs> and problematic co-workers. What is on your face? Is that a disguise? Excuse me. It's like you're in high school again. Cold front, coming into the warehouse. Better put on your ski boots. Ooh. Happy New Year, Daryl. And speaking of jobs, okay, the seventh thing. How to get a job that I actually like. So, help you to understand yourself as well as you should. Some people are born and they know exactly that they want to be a doctor or a dentist or a lawyer. Like, that's awesome because it's like already cut out for them. The other half of us, we have no idea what we want to do with our lives. Maybe a little more attention to personal development or what is your niche. Like, a warning might have been cool. Like, you're going to hit some low points in your career trying to just figure out what it is you want to do. I'm not saying figure it all out for me. I'm just saying give me a heads up. Jeez. And lastly, they don't teach you how to manage your time. Time management. How to prioritize. How to beat procrastination for crying out loud. Ways to organize yourself and to discipline yourself. That would be cool. What would we call that class? Time management. How to improve your life? I don't know. All right, where's the syllabus on how to do life and how to succeed? Oh, there's not one. Oh. I'm just saying they could have helped us out a little on a lot of things. He did pay thousands and thousands to go to college, or if you're getting ready to go to college, you have this video now. I wish I could have seen a video like this when I was like 16 or 17. I don't know if it really would have stuck with me, but it definitely would have sparked some interest in my brain and I would have maybe done some research. So yeah, I hope this video was somewhat eye-opening or educational or whatever you want to call it. I do love school, I do love college, I just would tweak a few things. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and like the video if you wanna. And I will see you guys next Thursday. <laughs> Bye!